Hello and welcome to this tutorial that will cover eldering and shrooming mechanics in Day of Dragon. I will try to make this guide as complete as possible, explaining the mushroom in details and at the end I will show all the shroom location. But first, what's an elder? Elder is an additional stage of growth that comes after adult. An elder is bigger, one class higher than an adult, sounds different and is more or less twice stronger than an adult. By eating Elder Mushroom of your corresponding species and becoming Elder, you get two extra mutation points in addition of the two you get by reaching Juvenile and Adult stage. To get those points, you need to eat an Elder Mushroom of your own species when already having some progression towards Elder. For example, you need to have a passive Elder points and then eat a Shroom or eat two Shroom. For the final point, you will have to reach Elder stage. Now let's talk about the different shrooms. There's currently five different mushrooms in Day of Dragon. The regular one, that can be found anywhere. It's not related to eldering, just a source of food, but keep in mind that they are poisonous. The green mushroom, this one will not provide any progress towards elder, but its spawn and location where the other elder mushroom can spawn. Eating it will also restore around 10% HP. Then there is another mushroom for the tree species. Eating one of another species will not give any progression and will slightly increase your thirst. The acid drake need to eat the yellow mushrooms, the shadow scale need to eat the blue ones and the flame stalker, the orange ones. Eating one elder mushroom gives one point. Currently, the only other way to get points is passively. You can claim one point every 12 hours just by playing your dragon. To reach Elder, you need 45 points for the Acid Drake, 60 points for the Shadow Scale, and 80 points for the Flamestalker. Here is the map of the Far Content Forests with all the mushroom locations. The green pinks correspond to green shrooms, but they will also spawn yellow or blue after being eaten. They will respawn randomly around 1 to 2 hours later as one of the three colors. There is a blue shroom that spawns in Renwood East and Island every one hour exactly. And there is a yellow shroom that spawns at Island and Cave every one hour exactly. For the orange films of Chroma Shroom, it's a bit more complex. There are five shrooms that spawn always orange, one of them every hour. The rest of the 20 total shrooms in Ravine can spawn green or orange. So, if we do a bit of math, just with the two permanent Acid Drake and Shadow Scan Mushroom, there is enough room to get Elder in a day for SD and a bit more than a day for Shadow Scan. This is if we ignore all the other green pings. Realistically, if you're lucky, it can be faster than that or slower if other dragons aren't eldering. Now, there is an exception to those timers. When a server restarts, all the mushroom server will be set to a default state. And the timer I mentioned above will start, in most cases, only after being eaten once, except for the 1 hour ones. The 5 crater ones will spawn some time after restart. The 3 lime shrooms will spawn as regular shroom. The island, paradise and the forest one will spawn green instantly after restart. For ravine, 14 shrooms instantly spawn green, 1 spawn regular, 1 spawn instantly orange and 4 spawn orange after some time. Now, let's see in-game all the shroom spots and the road I do to Elder our Dragons. Now that we are in-game, let's quickly start with a little tip to, that will help you to find the coordinates of the shrooms. First go in your settings, game, scroll to the bottom, and enable static compass. What it will do is, you will see on the top of your screen, uh, the compass will now stay there, otherwise, if it's not enabled, you will only see it in the eye menu. I will start with the shadow scale and acid drake and the root. I put them together because the paths are really similar and if there's difference, I will explain them in the video. We are now in crater, in the southeast part of the map. Here spawn five shrooms. 
There is one here on blue. The so it's a shadow scale scroll. There's one here, here. There's an ASD room here, and another one just in front of me. So you can see all the five from there. Uh, they are not always all the same colors. It changed. Like it's random. It can be any of the three colors. Now, if you're shadow scale, you wanna go to Red Root East. Uh, otherwise, if you're on ASD, you can go directly to Island and skip that part. Here is the shadow scale room that spawns every hour, exactly. So on island there is three shroom, there is a random shroom that spawn here, it can be either green, yellow or blue. There is a yellow ASD shroom that spawn here, every hour exactly. And there is a blue shadow scale shroom that spawn here, every hour exactly. Now if you are on Acid Drake, you wanna go to Cave, and if you are shadow scale, you can skip directly to Paradise. There is a yellow ASD shroom that spawns every hour exactly. In paradise, there is a random shroom that spawns here. Here, you can see it's red because no one ate it since the server restart. But otherwise, it can also be green, yellow, or blue. In life, there's three other mushroom spawns. You can see here they are all green, but again, they can be green, blue, or yellow. I will now quickly go through all the Elder Forest mushrooms. Um, I won't show them in detail because it's just mostly to see the paths that I use to find them. Otherwise, in the description, there will be the map of all, all those rooms with all the coordinates of them. Because uh, they are not like near any point of interest, like the Lime, the Paradise Room, the Iceland Room, for example. Uh, you need to use coordinates to find them. Thank you. 
Now let's see for the flames of the firms. They are all in ravine, so you don't really need coordinates to find them. They are all like really obvious, like this one. Um, most of them will spawn green, but they can all spawn orange. Five of them will always spawn orange though. You can see a second one here. Just follow the ravi in the east direction and we will fly over all the shrooms that are here. So there's one shroom here as well. This one always spawn orange. Just a little bit. There's a other shroom here. This one also always spawn orange. Then there is three shroom over there. There is that one. This one always spawn orange. And the two other one are. Uh, Green or orange. Then there is this one, uh, this one also always spawn orange. For the next rooms we just have to slide down the ravine. There is this one, green or orange. This one also a random room, green or orange. Same for that one. Then you climb a bit more, it's easier uh, with the flamestalker. Another random shroom here. And if we go down again, there is that red shroom that uh, it spawns red, red after restart, and then once it turns, it spawns green or orange. That would a random shroom, green or orange. And up there, there is three more shrooms. There is the two green ones that are random, green or orange. And on the side of the cliff, there is an orange one. This one always spawns orange, and it spawns every hour exactly. It's a bit tricky to get up there. If you're not too good at flying, so it might take a few tries, but that's the most important room since it spawns every hour. Then continuing the ravine, still east side, uh, we will arrive at the crater's, crater side of the ravine. Uh, there will be three last random green from there.
and that's all for that video. I know it's a bit long, but I try to put as much information as possible and show all the shrooms that were on the map. So if you learn something, and or if you want to see more Day of Dragon content, consider subscribing to the channel. And you probably figured out that I'm not too good for talking, so I don't really have an outro, so bye!